Hi there. Section 2 of the rubric for online competencies concerns making sure that all of your students can participate and succeed in your course, even if some of them may have a visual, auditory, motor, or cognitive impairment. A visually impaired student, for example, will be unable to see any images or videos you use. A hearing impaired student will be unable to hear the words spoken in a video. But accessibility does not refer only to people with permanent impairments. Your students may have temporary or situational accessibility issues too, such as demonstrated in this graphic. A student may have an arm injury, for example, that prevents them from using the mouse. They may uh, be taking your course in a noisy environment from home or at work or some other location. And there are other temporary and situational issues to consider too. Research studies have shown that addressing accessibility issues helps all your learners. Including text captions with your videos, for example, helps not only those with hearing impairments, but those for whom English is not their first language. As it turns out, captions benefits all learners. And this link has a link to a large study that shows that even students with no hearing impairment at all, for example, benefit from having captions on videos. So accessibility is an important consideration for the success of all your students. So how do we address accessibility issues in our courses? For that, we're going to scroll down and go to this link to the accessibility checklist. This will take you to a Google Doc that lists different issues to look at and address in your course. For each issue that's listed, there are hyperlinks to tutorials on how to address that issue. For example, in the previous section of the, the ROC, you should have already uh, learned about how to add information about the Office for Students with Disabilities to your orientation module and syllabus. But let's look at this number three item too. It mentions that when you have web pages, any images should have alternative text descriptions. So how do we fix these kind of issues? I want to show you the Canvas Accessibility Checker, which is a tool built into Canvas to fix some of the issues in your course. I'm going to go back to this page that we were just at, and I'm going to click Edit. So when you edit an assignment or a page or anything, you'll see this editor toolbar. And you may have to scroll to the far right if your screen is small. And you'll see this little icon on the bottom right that looks like a person in a circle. That's the accessibility checker built into Canvas. When I click it, it notes that there are several issues, in this case four issues, on this page. The first issue, it highlights that this image does not have alternative text to describe it for people who are visually impaired, for example. So I want to enter a description of this image. Maybe temporary or situational, for example. And then I hit apply and it will fix that issue for us. The next issue that it identifies is the this header. I have to close this accessibility issue to show you what's going on here. I have a header here if I look up here, it says it's header four. But if I go up to the previous header, this big one, it says header two. And for people who use a screen reader with people with visual impairments, headers using headers is very important in your document. Screen readers let them jump back and forth between headers much more quickly so they don't have to read the entire text of the page. However, it's helpful to only go up or down one level at a time. So I went from header two to header four. I'll instead change this to a header three, so it goes just from three to four. If I run the accessibility issue checker again, it notes that there's one more issue, and I intentionally added this just to demonstrate that it also checks the color contrast. The contrast between the foreground text and the background color. I added text that has a red background and black colored text, and it doesn't like that either. It, it does let me have an option here to change the text color, but again, instead, I'm going to fix this my own way and go back to the editor and highlight the text and look at the background color item in the editor toolbar and just click this X to turn off the background color. Now, if I click the accessibility checker, it's got these colorful balloons that show me that all the issues have been fixed in this page and I can save the page. So what about videos for captions? Luckily, if you upload your video to YouTube, YouTube uses speech recognition to automatically generate captions. If you speak clearly enough, the captions should be very accurate. However, you can edit the captions in YouTube if you like. You can also use the My Media tool in Canvas, that's Kaltura, and add captions there as well. Thank you and good luck on addressing the accessibility issues in your course. Please contact a faculty developer for assistance with these matters. Thank you.